Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Gold Dragon Nation of our Rainbow Tribe of New Earth. We have had several days of still energy coming through the zero point field, preparing all star seed earth angelics for this weekend's powerful alignment as our local Solaris and Pluto move into the zodiac sign of Aquarius, leading us into the new golden age of 5D and beyond. The crystal codes of creation are pouring in through the galactic portals, connecting all multiverses to the one true universal source of all. As we are completing the purification and cleansing phases of our ascension process, Pachamama received a powerful activation this evening on the Ring of Fire with a magnitude 6.4 earthquake in Tonga at 2212 UTC at a depth of 218 kilometers. We are receiving an upgrade to the code of the 64 of the matrix through the 222 gateway into the crystalline code of the 144. The resurrection flame has been fully ignited and lit within the Sacred Heart Center of our ground crew team of Terra Nova Gaia. Keep blazing the violet flame filling this realm with the holy fire of transfiguration as we transform Mother Earth into the paradise she has always evolved to be. The golden gate is fully open. All those with a pure heart may pass and enter the kingdom of heaven upon the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. 144 flowing in. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer to the violet flame and the Egyptian star mermaid. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with Divine Sister of the Light, Valerie A. Elster feeling more clarity in the field as we move out of void space, in between frameworks, opening new galactic blueprints. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Isha Athera, Quantum Intel, Sovereignty Vows Coming In, Rebuke Imposter Spirits, Rebuked, Return to Rightful Owner, Destiny Keys Restored, Divine Right, Order and Action, Speak It, Speak It, Earth Guardians, Human Angels, we're doing good work team, releasing miasmas, purging still underway, crystal and clairs incoming, making way for new blueprints dropping in, on our way home. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Aura 444, Tones of Creation Returning Home, Home to You, This Planet and the Solar Logos, Victory of the Light, Diamond Sun DNA, re-encryption to your light body from carbon densities. As a shaman, it's a great honor to assist humanity and this planet into light from distortions, deceptions, and inversions, bringing it all back to its Christic alignment of God Source frequency. It's a soul choice to align to the light you are created from or be in disconnection as all is aligning back. This brings massive truth, justice, oneness, and healing. Ascension does not happen without light, hence why they try to block the sun and we keep bringing the sun back out. Harmonize to your heart and give gratitude for your heart, your strength, and your ability to see clearly amongst darkness. Give yourself all that you need because that energy is within you, not outside of you. Magnetizing within allows it to show up around your Taurus field, embarking into your reality. Aqua contains rays of blue and emerald. Using this high dimensional frequency will help you attune in the frequencies now. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 11824. We are no longer looking at what we left behind last year. We'll now be using the gifts we came out with 
Today is a double nine day, the number of completion, but also of satisfaction and fulfillment. You've paid your dues and lessons learned. Now you enter a new phase of life armed with experience, wisdom, and desire. Again, you are not who you were, and you'll want a life that supports a new chapter. By relying on what you learned about yourself last year, staying true to that, listening to your inner voice, and focusing on your current values, you can create a whole new environment from which to thrive. A life that not only makes sense, but flows naturally and feels so very right. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Grandma Chandra. Communicate on the waves of joy. Your communication is no longer going in a straight line or a straight beam. It is now a wave communication or pulsating communication. The intention you are sending is repeating itself in time and space like a radar impulse, like the dolphins send impulses. When you concentrate on some work or on communicating with somebody or with some groups, the energy and information is going in circles or whatever round shape we have in multidimensionality. What it means is there is a break between signals or after every impulse there is a gap. You have to pay attention to this gap and understand that the gaps are actually the pulling power or the moving power of your messages of your communication. You have the speed you are moving at, and you have a direction. The gap is the presence of God, the presence of mighty God creation. The gaps are the carrying frequencies of your messages and communication. All of your multidimensional spaces are filled with different impulses and gaps coming from all over the universe. Some are sent by and some are received by you. The understanding or the connection happens when these carrying frequencies push the information layer or the impulse layer together with other impulse layers. This is where the amplification happens, where the moment of reading and receiving is happening. In other words, you have to over time feel yourselves as this sending and receiving multidimensional beam. Understanding now that your sending and receiving techniques are different will help you to get the telepathic connections, telepathic abilities of your bodies to be consciously utilized. You start knowing yourselves as this pulsating, sending frequency beam rather than seeing yourselves as a physical body 3D being. By changing this perception of yourselves, by changing the vision of who you are, will change the whole world around you. We will change the whole method of communication with each other. Quantum physics creates the elements or the particles as a hard particle and a wave. The same with you. You are treating yourselves as a particle or hard matter. Now is the time to treat yourselves as frequencies, as waves that pulsate sending information. The world around you is ready to communicate with you using this technique. Everything around you is already communicating with this technique. Just look at the birds, how they can immediately change their direction while flying as a flock. Look at the fish in the ocean, how by energetic impulses the whole group of fish are moving around. They are already connected to their information entities or the information aggregator of this particular group of beings. Now you can understand your energetic connection to each other. This energetic connection goes through the new grids to all of you, through each of you. It is from everyone to everybody and from everybody to everyone through the quantum grids that are now supporting and conducting and giving the scientific component to your communication. It is allowing you now to see how it goes to be this communication. In other words, you are sending a fractal of yourselves through the universe as you are becoming this fractal communication. You are becoming this energetic signal that you are spreading around you. Do not be afraid if you only feel silence in the beginning. At first, it may be hard to get into the communicating phases. The more you practice, the more you learn. The more you try, the better your results will be, because where you put your intention is where you put the energy of creation. This happens not only for you, but for the whole of humanity. 
The more people practice and try and put their efforts into it, the easier it will be for everybody else to capture and to master. I am reminding you to communicate on the waves of joy because that is the lightest frequency that can help you not only to send your message, but to receive messages as well. Hugs and love to all of you, Grandma, from GrandmaChandra.com 1010 Flowing In And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Sohila You are still mastering ascension even when your vibe is low. Even when you are frustrated or angry, even when you feel stuck, ascension is an internal activation that your soul governs. It's not about rules. Your awakening is a very private and personal experience that is occurring at a soul level. Once ascension begins, you don't go backwards. You are not going to get it wrong. You are not going to mess it up. You are not going to do things that thwart your progress despite what many popular spiritual mentors may suggest. This experience is between you and the Creator and was decided before this lifetime. Your ascension is a divinely timed event that awakens your third eye and forever changes the landscape of your inner experience. You can be in a bad mood, feel stuck, be frustrated, have no clear vision, and still be awakening and ascending. This experience is not bound by mortal rules or games. Your soul has full knowledge of this process. There are things you can do that make it easier, but you will be able to understand and implement those things when the time is right for you to do so. This is why we self-love, so that as we move through this process, we can cultivate validation and acceptance and calm our nervous system as we take each breath in trust from Oracle of Your Soul, and today from Divine Angels of the Light, Ascension Lightworkers. To the Ascension Lightworker Collective, the power of truth. In the new energy of Earth, it becomes clear that the focus is not about fixing anything or restoring alignment to relationships that currently feel out of vibrational resonance. At higher levels of consciousness, everything unfolds and heals exactly as it is designed to. The rapidly evolving energies on this planet invite ascending souls to shift their priorities towards cultivating inner peace, comfort, safety, and joy. By embracing higher vibrations, you connect with the gratifying and harmonious aspect of self in all aspects of life. Alignment with your higher self allows you to live in authenticity, abundance, and embracing unconditional love and prosperity. Surrendering plays a significant role in the ascension process. Letting go of comparisons and competition, which are constructs of 3D conditioning in the collective matrix. Letting go also involves releasing feelings of unworthiness and everything that does not support your ascension to higher levels of self. It means moving into higher timelines with a focus on personal interdependency and releasing outer codependencies. This ascending planet is receiving incredible high energies, surpassing what many are accustomed to. Ascending individuals and in the collective are progressing towards advanced stages of awareness and consciousness. Divine unconditional light codes are pouring love into the planet and into each ascending soul, tangible and felt by many. These are extraordinary times, where ascending individuals are aligning and gravitating toward higher levels of self and collective union. Trusting in this truthful energy and higher awareness will protect and shield you. It is crucial for your awareness, ascension, and overall well-being to be aware of those you trust on this planet. When you set new standards and intentions for how you expect to be treated, you may be surprised by the individuals who naturally depart from your life. As you evolve, your energetic field expands and vibrates at higher quantum frequencies in preparation for unity consciousness. Placing trust in the guidance of your soul's higher self will lead you precisely where you need to be, providing direction and unveiling what needs to be released, cleared, and healed. Your being is always prepared, 
ready to embrace expanded source light and ascend to higher conscious timelines. Consciousness holds immense value and serves as a potent currency, not just on Earth, but across all dimensional realms. In the new Earth energy, a transformative force is taking shape both in your surroundings and within you, initiating profound rebuilding, rebirth, and deep cellular regeneration. Many souls engaged in the process of ascension are on a transformative journey, seeking to transcend limiting belief systems and the illusory confines of the 2-3D to 3D existence. The realm of falsehood brings about suffering through false desires, fears, values, and perceptions of relationships. Ascending souls strive to liberate themselves from these constructs and embody higher truth and purpose. As you evolve into higher levels of consciousness, you release that anxiety, fear, and unease are not your natural state of being. They are conditioned programs, whereas inner peace, calmness, love, self-acceptance, and unity are your natural state. Ascending souls are returning to the original template of their true selves. Many ascending souls are on an evolutionary path, surpassing limiting beliefs and the false existence of the 2-3D to 3D plane. In the lower realms of consciousness, specifically the 2-3D to 3D existence, a realm of falsehood that perpetuates suffering, false desires, fears, values, concepts, and distorted perceptions of relationships create a delusion state. Ascending souls work hard and strive to liberate themselves from these false constructs, taking hold of a much higher truth and purpose as we fully enter the age of Aquarius. As you evolve into higher levels of consciousness, you recognize that anxiety, fear, and inner unease are not your natural state of being. They are products of conditioned programming. Your natural state consists of inner peace, calmness, love, self-acceptance, and unity. Ascending souls are returning to this authentic template of their true selves. Many ascending souls are continuing on an evolutionary path, aiming to transcend limiting belief programs entrenched in the false existence of the 2-3D to 3D realm. This realm has become an energetic plague. The truth is that the false narratives in life have caused the most suffering for many on this planet and for the planet itself. Gaia consciousness has chosen not to sustain the old energy that supports false desires, ego-driven consciousness, and greed. The new earth energy of this universal numerical eight year brings truth to the forefront, shedding light on all things, people, and situations. The exposure of truth will be prominent. Ascending souls are letting go of the false to free themselves from the pain and suffering of the old earth energy. They are committed to eradicating the human suffering paradigm from ascending energy. The truth brings higher awareness, dismantles falsehoods, and allows for deeper understanding of self. It liberates from lies, illusions, and conditioning. Truth holds immense energetic strength as it cuts through false people, beliefs, conditioning, ego-driven desires, and more. There is an intensifying energy on Earth that is palpable, starting from January 20th, when Pluto, the planet of transformation, stations in Aquarius. The next 44 to 55 years on this ascending planet will be one of intense transformation and recalibration. This all begins in the energy of New Earth 2024. This new energy is going to be vastly different, and as we move forward, we will become increasingly aware of the collective divide widening around us. The new energy on this planet is unpredictable, and making plans will often lead to having to change them. As you dedicate yourself to transforming your inner world, your life swiftly shifts from the ordinary and mundane to the metaphysical and extraordinary realms of heightened conscious awareness and existence. All ascending individuals, it is now time to release the hold of survival mode and rediscover a newfound faith in life, in yourself, and in the transformative power of self-love. This energy of self-love is what the planet needs to realign everything with its natural order. 
in loving and devoted ascension service from ascension light workers and today from divine sister of the light carolyn 144 god code the karmic piscean age cycles of unions are concluding divine counterparts are being taken out of that world for unions in the new age of aquarius the new earth kingdom marriages and family trees are being revealed god is activating the internal compass and divine counterparts to claim this truth as reality he is collapsing old earth relationship contracts to make way for holy grail unions in the new earth synchronistic activations are guiding the divine masculine christ to seek and find his feminine match in jesus christos name amen god bless you love carolyn from 144godcode.com and from divine sister of the light Ra james today brings us a mercury saturn sextile mercury and capricorn connects with saturn and pisces this is bringing back up past karmic lessons and cycles, especially if you have any unresolved karma going on or unfinished business. This alignment is bringing up your karmic past and past life karma. Saturn rules Capricorn. We are in the last 48 hours of Capricorn season. Those last few hours are all about getting organized and working on your life. It's all about shifting your mindset right now. These energies are all about clearing the energies and patterns of the past and shifting into more of a manifesting mindset. January has been encouraging us to slow down and to get more intentional about the moves we are making and what we are getting done. You have been laying the foundation for your entire year in this space. This is a great space for clearing energies and letting go of the patterns and blocks that have been holding you back. Have patience in your ascension process. You are healing and releasing thousands of years of cultural and ancestral programming. Next week brings us a powerful Leo full moon that makes the rest of January's energies all about manifesting your heart's desires and tapping into your inner power. The next few weeks continue to be a great space for getting things done. It's a great time to be starting new projects or leaning into new ideas. It's also all about healing and shifting into a higher frequency. From SparksofDivineLightHealing.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Colleen Lemma, The moon, ruler of cycles, is an earthy Taurus now, and today is making positive connections to Mercury, ruler of thoughts and ideas. Mars, planet of energy and action, and Jupiter, planet of abundance and blessings. This is a great day to nurture your plans and dreams. Take steps towards what you desire to manifest. As long as you are dedicated and persistent, as long as you have patience and give it time, the universe is conspiring on your behalf in the creation of something wonderful. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, First Quarter Moon in Aries, Mercury in Capricorn, Sextile Saturn and Hygieia in Pisces. We're at the first turn in the lunar cycle, a prompt to address inconsistencies, a fire in the belly that resists direction from outside agencies. We want independence, and yet we're not an island. Sometimes others hold the reins of control, and it's up to us to respond in ways that empower us rather than disempower us. Know your strengths. Mercury's aspects are a calm voice in the noise, a way through the trouble, an answer to the question. Here is an invitation to mind your mental health, to let go of negative thinking, and instead ask your imagination to find solutions. Speak with quiet authority. Take your ideas seriously. Be open to input from others without erasing your voice. Cleanse your space from complainers. Reinforce your boundaries. Start thinking about long-term hopes and dreams. Pay attention to your soul's running commentary. In moments of quiet reflection, everything makes sense. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Tolkien Times, Keen 90, White Crystal Dog. 
Crystal is the name for the number 12, and its keywords are cooperate, dedicate, and universalize. The twelfth day of a wave spell is all about getting together with like-minded people to share experiences. It's also a great day for working in a team and being dedicated to doing things as a group rather than trying to do things on your own. Traditionally, we hold a crystal court on the twelfth day, where we discuss the current wave spell and speculate what to expect for the next one. It's great for sharing stories and observations. If you can't meet up in person, use this day's energy to be dedicated to digesting how you have experienced the stormy wave spell. Today is White Dog, which represents love, loyalty, and heart. Dog days are all about giving all you got and putting your heart into whatever you are doing, no matter how important or trivial. This dog energy is tenacious, therefore much can be achieved on these days. Of course, dog also represents love, so if you love what you do, that's even better. And this also means that we should all strive to have a bigger heart today and be more loving to all you encounter. As it is a crystal day, this suggests that cooperating with a team and putting your heart into that can yield great results. These two energies are well matched today. And so to get the most out of this great combination, find your people and have a group hug. That's what it's all about. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Christina, Papa Giorgio, White Crystal Dog, 12 Oak, Key 90, 18th of January 2024, Universal Love, 18 1 2024, equal 9 1 8, equal 9 9, equal 18, equal 9. 999 Divine Destiny 1818 Day Codes 18 Social Upheaval Endings 9 Endings Completion Service Mission Humanity Grace Divinity Month Year Codes 1 New Beginnings Original Leader Independent Unique 8 Infinite Abundance Source Flow 9 20 The Awakening Clear Vision 24 Charisma Happiness Healing Joy Key 90 equal 9, destiny code, 0 equal source, 9999, a very beautiful, divinely empowering day for stepping into your magical destiny with your kin folk. Day 12 in the blue storm wave spell of purification, cleansing, transformation, and evolution. Today we have an absolutely brilliant code, much softer and heartwarming. Yesterday we liberated more love, and today we are universalizing the flow of love. White Dog leads the way for our global transformation through our unified hearts. By cooperating, expressing compassion, and unconditional love for one another. Tone of Creation, Crystal Tone 12 in the Mental Realm. Action universalizes, power dedicates, essence cooperation. The crystal tone 12 is the highest level of the mind, mental realm. The other two mental tones are tone 4, self-existing, and tone 8, galactic. Yesterday we focused on dissolving and releasing any residual fears to claiming our goddess feminine powers. Through this disillusion and release of the spectral phase, space is created for something new to emerge. The storm has created a vacuum. And now it is time to get creative to fill the void. At the crystal level of mind, we have the capacity to cooperate or operate with other minds. Just as a crystal can be programmed, so too can we program our minds on this day. Focus on the crystal clarity of our minds today through the power of cooperation with others. We can create telepathic links in our communication grids allowing for cooperative thoughts, ideas, and inspiration to flow. A day of greater connection to each other through our precious hearts and to Mother Gaia. Today is a fabulous day to connect and play with your crystal allies, spirit quartz, which perfectly encapsulates all of today's frequencies, programming our collective minds with rainbow frequencies. Other brilliant crystals for forging connections are Herkimer Diamonds and any Clear Quartz Crystal, which is programmed to do so. For amplifying your heart connection, use Kunzite, Rose Quartz, and Morganite. 
Today's question is, how can I transform and elevate my mind, partnering with spirit, to be of greater divine service through the power of love, compassion, and cooperation? Let the love flow through our crystalline connections today, through our precious hearts, and to Mother Gaia. Divine blessings for the beautiful meeting of like minds today. Enjoy this heavenly, lovely day. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Key 90, White Crystal Dog. The mantra, the code for today is, I dedicate in order to love, universalizing loyalty. I seal the process of heart with the crystal tone of cooperation. I am guided by the power of spirit. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Stasha Kalin, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Yoshiko Prema Swan. Prayer to the Violet Flame and the Egyptian Star Mermaid. O luminous violet flame, essence of spiritual cure, radiating from realms beyond, pure and sure, wrap us in your comforting, transformative glow. Heal our wounds and make our spirits grow in the celestial gardens of ancient Egypt's sky. Lived a star mermaid under the moon's watchful eye. Her soul shimmered like the constellations above, spreading tranquility, compassion, and love in her heart a piece of the celestial dome, gazing upon earth her ethereal home. With stardust in her veins and grace in her sway, she guided the night and welcomed the day. Star mermaid, with your heavenly charm, fused with the violet flame, bringing no harm. Join your forces in a dance of celestial art. Bestow healing and peace from your cosmic heart. She swam through the night a vision so divine, leaving trails of stardust in the heavens to shine. Each twinkle, a whisper of her gentle creed, in the tapestry of night her stories we read. O violet flame, an Egyptian star mermaid, so bright, lead us with wisdom through darkness and light. In your nurturing embrace may we all find peace, and in your joined radiance may our joys increase. From Shambhala Light Visionary Art dot com. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.